Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about how large language models, including ChatGPT, generate text. All right, so here we have the transformer model. As we discussed, it's got the encoder and decoder part. And interesting and interestingly enough, we're going to actually simplify this for large language models. We don't need the full transformer, and this is a very uh, important component of this whole course and in, in the understanding of large language models and a very useful piece of trivia that uh, large language models, including ChatGPT, don't actually use the whole transformer. They don't use the encoder part. So these, com these elements uh, of the transformer, uh, we can just remove them, <laughs> throw them out, and we will get this decoder-only model. And uh, when we talk about large language models, whether it's ChatGPT, Llama, Claude, Bianthropic, uh, and other large language models, they all use a decoder-only architecture, which you can see here on the screen. Very important to keep that in mind. And that's what we're going to be analyzing in this tutorial. So here's our decoder-only architecture. We're going to put in a prompt. It will go at the bottom uh, of our decoder. So we're going to ask, what is the tallest mountain? It goes to the bottom of the decoder. And the decoder, which we will discuss in great detail in the upcoming tutorials, is going to process our prompt. It's going to um, create vectors, context-aware representations, do um, different kind of um, neural, applied neural network weights and so on. And it will come up with the next most probable word. So that's what uh, large language models do. They predict the next most likely word. In this case, it will be the word the. And so then this whole prompt, including the word the, it will, this uh, large language model will take it in again into its, uh, as input, even though at the bottom of there it says output, we'll talk about that in the upcoming tutorials, but it takes it in into there because that was effectively the output. Now it's become the input. Uh, it ingests, so to speak, this uh, text which goes through the model again and it spits out the next word and so on. So that goes in, we get the next word, the tallest mountain, the tallest mountain is, the tallest mountain is Mount, the tallest mountain is Mount Everest. And then this still will go into uh, our decoder only uh, model, the large language model. And then we'll get an uh, end of sequence token. And the end of sequence token is uh, a signal to the large language model to stop generating text that we've come to the end. And so there we go, that will be our final output. Uh, we've asked what is the tallest mountain and the <laughs> final output is the tallest mountain is Mount Everest, end of sequence. So a key takeaway from here is that, uh, from the tutorials that large language models use a decoder only architecture. They don't use the full transformer. And also they generate one word at a time. And then it's like an iterative process until they get to the end of sequence token. Now make sure to check out these videos on the right or the full course in the description to continue your learning. And I look forward to seeing you there.